You know, and they say that Bill Clinton uh, has that ability to make you feel like you're the only person in the room. Um, I know people who have interacted with Bill Clinton and uh, <laughs> quit giggling. And and how he just knows how to make a person feel like they're the only person. It, you know, he's that charismatic in that. So there's a weird little charm going on here amongst these people. Same with Epstein. Same with Epstein. If these people could open up to somebody who literally could offer them nothing. Yeah. yeah. You go back to 1993, they hosted uh, Bill and Clinton, uh, Bill and Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Hosted a reception for supporters who'd contribute to White House renovations. Mm -hmm. uh, nearly $400,000 overhaul. New gold draperies, 13-color woven rug for the Oval Office. Funded entirely by donations to the White House Historical Association. And uh, one of the big contributors to that was none other than Jeffrey Epstein. Um, and again, it's all about him lining up the chess pieces yeah. for his benefit. Yeah. And by the way, not only are you a registered sex offender, but you're supposed to report in. Never at any time did he report in no. as a registered sex offender. Skated Whoops. clean through it. And they let him. Yeah. They let him just do it. And that was from the very, very beginning. People were willing to let him slide under the radar and you know break any rules that he seemed fit. And the funniest part about it was last or earlier this year, when the flight manifests were mm -hmm. made public, before they were even made public, Bill Clinton came out and like said that he had ne never had anything to do with anything that was happening on the plane. And all you could think of was like, we didn't say what happened on the plane yet, Bill. What are you talking about? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whoa, we Billy. <laughs> Whoa, Billy. Pull the reins back, Billy. 